Hello. Today I am going to show you how to install and run Onion Share. A really cool and easy to use tool for sharing files, hosting websites, and chatting using the Tor network anonymously and peer to peer. You might have seen the Onion Share desktop application in the Linux Tails operating system where it comes installed by default. But that's not the software I'm testing today. Rather, I will be using the Onion Share command line version, which is way more versatile than its desktop counterpart. If you don't know about Onion Share, you will wonder how you could ever have lived without it. So stick around. It's gonna be worth it. Let's go to Onion Share's GitHub. If you scroll down, there's a link to a documentation website, where you can learn in detail how Onion Share works, and what you can do with it. Let's leave these two tabs open, and move to a different workspace. I am going to install OpenShare, in a headless server that I've already configured and have access through SSH. There are links below where you can learn about all these things, so check them out if you're confused. This is an Ubuntu Server 22.04. The following installation instructions will be the same, or very similar, for all Linux Debian distributions. The first thing to do, is to install the Tor daemon from the Tor package repository. Go to, torproject.org, and follow the instructions. Support Debian repository Enable Tor package repository And now you need to install, the Python 3, pip package. And that's all the requirements you need. Now let's clone the Onion Share GitHub repository. The latest official release is 2.6. We'll verify its digital signature and check out to this version. You can get the signing PGP key here. Copy the link. This command will fetch the key and import it into your key ring. Verifying 2.6 Good signature. Checking out to 2.6 As I said in the beginning, I am going to build the command line version of Onion Share not the desktop. To build the software from source, type pip install dash dash user dot Navigate back to your home and source your profile file. And you're done. Type onion share cli. Everything is okay. Please take a minute to look at the usage and options so you get an idea of what we're about to do. Let's share some files over Tor. I have a documents directory with some stuff in it. The syntax for sharing files is straightforward, just specify the path to the file you want to share. Now read this output. Anyone who pastes this address into a Tor browser, will be able to download your shared file, immediately, and from anywhere in the world. 
Notice that there's client authentication by default, meaning, that a private key will also have to be provided in order to access the file. Let's test it. I got it. Notice what happens on the server side when someone downloads the shared file. The service stops automatically by default. Let's share something else. And this time, let's add some options. Now I'm going to share the contents of a directory, not just a single file. I will disable client authentication. So an onion address will be enough to access my files. I don't want the service to start right away, but at a scheduled time in the future. And finally, I want the sharing service to continue to run indefinitely, allowing for the files to be downloaded more than once. So watch the syntax carefully. The service will start in one minute. Read the last line. One minute later. And it's running. I can download a zip file. This interface even allows me to preview some file types. And you can download individual files with the command wget, preceded by tor socks. The service will keep running until you stop it manually, pressing Ctrl C. Now let's run a hidden service for receiving files. I will submit a file, with an associated message. This is the path for the received files. A cool thing about this service, is that it can be used just for text messages. If you keep the service running, anyone bookmarking this address on their Tor browser will be able to send you stuff, at any time. To stop the service, press Ctrl C. There's the image file, with its associated message. And there's the second text message. Now, I will run a chat server. I will access this service, from two computers. From my host machine. And from the virtual machine that it's already running. Again, as long as the service keeps running in your server, any participant will be able to jump in and out of the chat room, at any time.
The last onion share feature that I want to show you, is the website option. With it, you can self-host a website on the dark net, by typing a single command. This is my website. My website is online. And it will stay online, until you stop the service. OK. Now I'm going to show you my favorite way of running multiple onion share services in a server. By using, tmux. If you don't have it in your system, you can install it by typing, sudo apt install, tmux. If you don't know about tmux, at the very least I encourage you to stop the video and read these lines from its man page. If I type tmux, I create one tmux session. If I don't name it, it will always be session 0. If I press Ctrl D, I exit. I will create a session again. All tmux commands must be preceded by Ctrl B. To detach from a tmux session, you press D. So if I want to disconnect from this session without closing it, I would press, Ctrl B, and then D. This command shows existing tmux sessions. If I type tmux again, a second session is created. Session 1. Press Ctrl B D, to detach from it. Now there's two sessions running in the background. To attach to any existing sessions, type, tmux, attach, and specify the target session. I will close session 1, by pressing Ctrl D. If there's only one tmux session running, you can attach to it just by typing tmux a. Ctrl D to close this session and exit tmux. So you get the general idea. Now I am going to create four tmux sessions, each of which will run an instance of an onion share hidden service. It would be a good idea to name my sessions adequately, to avoid confusion. To do this, you use the command, tmux new, followed by the name of the session. Once you're done, you can safely disconnect from your server. If I SSH back in, everything is running in the background. And all my services are easily accessible. I'm going to stop all services, and close all sessions. And finally, I'm going to show you how to do this another way. 
by using just one TMUX session with pseudo terminals inside panes. You can create as many as you want, and you can arrange them manually. Take a look at the TMUX man page if you want to know what commands I'm using here. Remember that there's an Onion Shared Desktop app as well. You can download it for Windows, Mac, and Linux, or you can just build it yourself. Have fun, and until next time.